do is uh, kettle drag pace. Uh, right now we're in the middle of event time. Uh, it's a Saturday, and um, still got quite a bit of time left. But uh, my uh, I've already got my event done, so. You know, my thing is uh, I want to go out and kill drag bases. Um, I'm missing quite a few of the blueprints, so um, that's what my goal is. Uh, I guess for starters, you know, there's lots of ninjas out there that love killing your fleet sitting about. And uh, so, you know, I kind of, I, I do have my my Harlocks already out, which is what I'm planning on using today. And... Um, they're just really good at killing the fleets and the buildings, pretty much everything in there. Um, I can usually go all the way to the end and solo. Uh, not necessarily 100% with the Harlocks, but I get close. But, uh, you know, I, I like to come to a certain point uh, it, with the, uh, at the drag base, you know, I like to click on the water right there. And then, uh, so I'm already pretty well hidden, but then I'll, I'll tell it to move here. I'll put a bookmark on there and say move, move here. That way it, it's hidden really, really well. And anyway... I guess for starters, um, I got to kill some uh, defense platforms, some artilleries. Um, this Nighthawk fleet that I have is there's only two Nighthawks in here, and um, uh, it's just all I have built so far. But these things just they're so freaking awesome that uh, it's not really a, an issue. Um, pretty much one volley will kill this torpedo bay, and so once I have that on the way. I can go ahead and start moving towards the center. Now, <clears throat> I may kill some other stuff, you know, accidentally. It's not really my target, but my target is the artillery right here. So I go straight in for that, and uh, it's pretty much—it's pretty short work, quite honestly. Got me a watcher. Not that I care. Sometimes it messes me up. I don't—I don't know why. I'm sure it's just a mental thing. Um, let me try to go a little bit more center this time. And then I'll come in and kill the other one. Alright, pretty much same thing. I just target the, or the uh, torpedo bay. Uh, get a volley on that one. Right before I get ready to fire the second volley, I'll start moving in. I just I don't know how good the sonar is. I don't want to get too close. I like to avoid damage where possible. And I know there's like three variations of drag paces. I'm really not quite sure what this one here looks like. Um, but uh, we're going to find out together. All right. So now that I've done that, um, I, I actually like coming in on the bottom right. Um, I'm open though. I mean, if anybody's got like a better plan, because uh, I'm not by far I'm no expert at this. Um, you know, um, I've I've hit I've hit quite a few, uh, but I rarely ever get the blueprints. Uh, probably I've hit less than 20 or so. All right, let's zoom out and see what this track face looks like. Oh, it looks like somebody's already been in this one. All right. Um, usually, I try to get to uh, know the layout because uh, the way I, I see it, I, I kind of feel like Kickslide's giving us a message of best way to uh, kill these track bases. And... Um, You know, like I, I really try to avoid the torpedo bays where possible. And it looks like this side right here, maybe if I'd have came in on the at nine o'clock or something like that, I probably would have done better. Um, avoiding the drag or the torpedo base. Um, I like being able to figure out where I can put a wall in between me and the drag. There's are some ships left on the outside, um, only a couple. Um, but they're going to be a while getting here, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on this outside right here. Normally, I probably wouldn't even mess with this. If I would have came in at 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock, I, I probably wouldn't even mess with it, to be honest with you. This is something to me that is really just extra. It's not really...
Now, uh, my Harlocks have all ballistic armor on them. I know they have built-in, um, like, uh, missile resistance. Um, I, I have seven uh, Hornets, and um, I'm sorry, I have eight Hornets on each one of these. No countermeasures. The only thing I don't like about these drag bases is that, um, you know, most of the, the bases that you hit, you can, um, or you get some kind of a retreat option uh, so that you can go out and come back in. You don't have that with drag bases. I don't know why. Um, but I do have, I do like that it has the timeout button uh, clock at the top left. Uh, so you can see, you know, basically when it's getting down to crunch time. And I am going to be in here that whole duration. And it's quite possible that I'm going to end up running out of time. And um, and having to come back in. I hope that doesn't happen, but it could happen. My main thing, really, I guess, is I'm going to be staying alive. I know <clears throat> a lot of people... Um, let's see how far away those boats are now. They're getting closer. I'll go ahead and kill this guy because I think I can use him, that wall section right here, to kill this torpedo bay. Now clean off this shelf and and I'll start working all the little compartments, all the little sections. I do believe I can reach this torpedo bay from here. I pretty much just hit my stop down stop button as soon as I started firing because a lot of times you can um, it'll it'll bring you in just a little bit closer than you need to to fire. And uh, and oftentimes that can get you 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 taking unnecessary damage. Now see these things really make quick work of the even the Nemi the Nemesis in here is like nothing uh, for these Harlocks. Now this guy right here Mike is going to get some shots off on me, but um, I don't know it's just assault missiles. It's not really a big deal. Sorry, that was my uh, iPad. Um, Messenger on there is it's a fairly new app, and uh, it has that little ding when somebody sends me a message, which, you know, I'll get to them. Now the main thing I target, I, I never target the buildings really until all of the uh, turrets are, are are done. Once all the turrets are done, uh, I, I always get confused right here trying to figure out which ones are closer. I always try to get to the closest one first. And I just get like a good volley off and usually one volley is enough. selected I 
Now, um, I could go around here and go to that door, but I got a torpedo bay over there, so I'm not going to go that way. I'm not too worried about these jug X's. Um, I will kill them first before they can shoot at me, but I'm mainly interested in getting these turrets, extra turrets, dead first. I just don't like uh, taking unnecessary damage. I have a hard time uh, telling the difference between the pinch and the uh, marathon UAVs sometimes. I know one's white, one is blue, but the colors are so freaking close together that uh, it does it does get me, quite honestly. I usually don't know. I, I'm always hopeful for the pinches, um, as I suppose most probably are. Now, like, again, <clears throat> I go into this section right here. The first thing I'm going to go for is the turrets. Um, let me see if I can get this one back here first. I don't know if I'm going to be able to avoid taking out that gate. If I can't avoid taking out the gate, no, then I might as well just go ahead and take it out. All right. I get out here far enough where I don't have to worry about the turret shooting at me getting free free shots anymore. They have already had enough. <clears throat> but obviously my main focus is taking care of that dread because it's really the DNX is really the only thing that can shoot back at me. I do like uh, soloing these things. It just seems like um, I'm I'm one of those guys where I have a hard time. Uh, I, don't, I, I guess it's supposed to be damage. Um, is the, you know, that is like the deciding factor as far as who gets the blueprint. But, uh, and maybe I just always fall short. I don't know if I'm just always trying to be share, share a little too much. And, uh, and I never get the, um, I never get the drag base, the, the blueprint, uh, when I play with other folks. So it's only when I solo these things do I get the, uh, the blueprint. And these Harlocks solo these very well quite honestly. I think they're awesome. I get some good volleys off and pretty much just switch targets. I could just sit here for a minute and just work on these buildings and uh, maybe that's what I'll do. Nothing's really shooting at me. I do have a, uh, a cannon back here and a cannon right here. But uh, they don't generally shoot at me. We have a very similar range, so their range should be just under 100. Um, I think my range is 96 or 97. It's 97. That's what my range is with the Hornets. So their range is about the same thing.
I'll go ahead and take care of that cannon right there. Oh, the Nimi saw me. Oh, maybe I should go ahead and get this building back here just so I can uh, avoid him for a little bit longer. I do plan on taking him out. But um, I like being able to manage that stuff, if you know what I'm saying. He does. He can't outrange me, that Nimi. Um, whatever missiles he's got on there is longer than what I got. I mean, he's just over 100. <coughs> His range is probably at least 110 or so. Now, I don't know if I can get this torpedo bay. I'm going to go ahead and try it. I'm really not too worried about uh, all this stuff out here. I just want to see if I can grab that building more than anything. Oh, and look at that. All right. Now, let's see. Is that Nimi close enough where I can reach him? Let me check out my health. All right. My health is in pretty good shape. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually avoid any damage at all by using a rocket. But I think, quite honestly, I think that's a bit overkill. Would you see how fast this guy dies? Um, yeah, he gets a shot off on me. And... Uh, The main thing I try to do uh, when going after him is staying is to keep moving. So, I go ahead and use it. Seven, six. All right, let's go ahead and go on in. He usually gets off a volley or two anyway. That was pretty good timing, right? See how fast his health goes down? That's pretty awesome, right? Hey, Immortal. I didn't really advertise this one. I, uh, I just didn't want to do a whole lot of waiting, quite honestly. My, um, my wife and my kid are out right now. My son has a competition for RTC, and so I got the house to myself. So I went ahead and, uh, just figured what the heck, I got a little bit of time. Well, I'm definitely going to go after uh, these turrets first. Um, I'm worried that I'm going to kill these gates. And that um, that's going to get me shot by torpedoes because they're all like right outside. Let me see what I can get away with. Closer. If I can reach these torpedoes, I'm going to go ahead and kill them. I wonder where that UAV came from. I mean, it looked like he came back to me, but uh, I really don't recall killing him or shooting him out that way. Only because I'm worried about this guy shooting at me through the gate. All right. Yeah, I saw, I, I actually, uh, from my last uh, show, Immortal, I got um, I got a lot of subscribers. A lot of people who uh, subscribe to my Twitch channel. And uh, um, I know I usually get emails for the, the ones that I subscribe to, so I just assumed everybody would get an email for when I went live as well. All right, I got one here getting a little low. But I should be getting really close to getting this drag base good and dead here. Let me go ahead and move my healthiest one out first. So I figure once I get this little piece here done, I should be golden.
Let's go ahead and get some of these missile turrets dead. Oh crap, I lost one anyway. I don't want to kill any more gates, so I'm just going to aim at missile turrets. Alright, looks like my number one might be my healthiest boat at the moment. Now, of course, I can keep going, which is my plan. I mean, because everything from here on out is just free uranium, right? Yeah, yeah, well, this is the first video I've done of a drac. Um, I've, um, and, uh, yeah, I just pretty much just went in there. Um, you'll be able to watch it back. I, I am archiving again. And uh, I'm going to be putting this right on my YouTube channel immediately after the show. But uh, immediately after I'm done here. Uh, but I just wanted to, uh, this is my first run in here. And not bad. I still got six minutes left. I, I thought for sure I was going to be... Uh, run out of time and have to come in again but I did pretty good so I'm just doing my little wiggle trying to get me uh, as close as I can in there I'm trying to get all the free uranium I can now so I pretty much did all the work for it so why not So I still got three boats left, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this uh, jug and all that, and after that I'm going to be done. I'm not going to do any more after that. I'll uh, jump out afterwards. iPad screen turned off. All right, and I guess that's really good enough. Um, I mean, yeah, there's a lot more uranium out there, and I guess my boat's close enough to where it's practically dead anyway. Um, yeah, what the heck? I'll go ahead and do it. I'm just going to put this in for a slow repair anyway, so might as well just see what I can get. Three boats left. My number one is my healthiest at the moment. I'll be dead soon enough, I guess. So now I've just got one boat left, so let me uh, just back off. And this is pretty good timing, too, because I think I just heard car doors outside. That means my family's home. So I go ahead and knock this out. I 
and wrap this sucker up. All right, let's go ahead and leave and see what I got. All right, 76% it's a pretty good run. Um, it doesn't, I got 3,120 uranium. And uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, it's all ballistic armor. Um, it's all ballistic armor. I've got, uh, like I said, it's loaded up with the Hornets. Uh, it's eight Hornets. And um, I'm trying to remember what else I got on it. Maybe I could go ahead and go on my base and look. All right. I'm getting close to getting all those. See, advanced. Um, drag base blueprints. Oh, here we go. So now I'm up to six. So I'm getting there. Four more to go, and I'll have them. Well, minus the Nemi. So I guess I got the Fire Support Platform M. That's what a lot of people telling me I should be using. But I also want to get the X. Um, I do actually have one uh, meteor mortar in my base. I'd like to put that on there. Um, anyway, uh, oh, fleets. Oh, there's my build. Uh, it's four, four D4Cs. I got the uh, MC3 alloy speed system and uh, the power cell. And then, like I said, eight UAVs. And they're all the same. Let's see how far away I am. Yeah, you kind of saw my uh, Nighthawk build, too. <laughs> I accidentally pulled up my shipyard. Well, these things take forever to get home, don't they? When they're... Uh... Well, I don't know. He's moving pretty good. Well, the uh, repair on that guy... I think normally it would be like 11 or 12 hours or something like that. But... Uh, um, he's This one here... You know, it's half-time repair right now, so it's the time to do it. This just means that I can go out and do another one uh, later on tonight, and it'll be free. Well. Oh, since I've got my Nighthawks, it's only, like I said, it's only two boats, but I keep mine out all the time. It, I never put it in my base. That way... You know, I never have to go out and repair my dock. I can always always got something to do, you know, if I, my base gets hit. I had to travel a little bit. All the drag bases close to me are, are dead already. There's a few here killing drag bases uh, during the uh, halftime repair. All right, here we go, finally. Seventy-eight VXP. Guess that's okay. That uh, okay, six and a half hours repair. But anyway, uh, uh, that drag base. If you actually watch it from the beginning, it looked like somebody did go in there and kill a bunch of boats. Um, well, I know some people do use sub decoys for the drag bases. Um, you know, I, I'm and I, I do that sometimes, but since I uh, found out how good my Harlocks are, I don't really do that anymore. Um, maybe once we get the dock upgrade, my, I'll have the weight. But if you see right here, I, I've only got um, 42 tons free. Uh, it's not enough for any of my decoys. So, But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this guy up. Um, as, thanks for coming on up here, uh, Immortal, and watching.